Welcome to the Batteries You Can Buy at Home Depot comparison test. First things first, what makes a battery test good or bad? Good tests measure multiple batteries per brand. For today's test, I use 16 batteries of each brand and average the results. Good tests should also show exactly how they got their results. Bad tests measure just one of each brand. Even in a single package, every battery will hold a somewhat different amount of charge. Look closely at my spreadsheet. For most tests, each brand usually had at least one battery that was better than at least one battery from the other brands. To pick one example, in the 500 milliamp discharge test, Rayovac could have won, or HDX could have won, or AC Delco could have won. Without testing more batteries of each brand and taking the average, it's just luck. Now that you're an expert on telling the difference between a good test and a bad test, I'll announce the winner and explain why in some detail. HDX batteries were the best performers of this test, beating AC Delco and Rayovac. Many batteries died to bring us this information. HDX batteries have the lowest cost per battery. When the best performing battery is also the cheapest, it's a no-brainer. HDX batteries rock! Those of you who just wanted to see who won can go now. The batteries in this test were compared on three factors. One, power, the amount of charge that the battery delivers before its voltage drops too low, measured in milliamp hours. Two, quality, how much variability is there from battery to battery? I calculated the standard deviation of each brand in this test. Three, value, bang for the buck or, in this case, milliamp hours for the buck. The prices used are available all the time. They're not sale prices and are accurate as of the December 2022 release of this video. In this video, I'm only showing this one test as an example of what every test run looks like. See the description for a link to a separate video of all tests being run. I tested four batteries of each brand at four different discharge rates measured in milliamps. The highest drain, shortest life test was 500 milliamps. The lowest drain, longest lasting test was at 50 milliamps. Many devices need batteries above 1.2 volts in order to work. For that reason, I have reported the result of discharging each battery down to 1.2 volts. But many other tests on YouTube report the results of discharging down to 0.9 volts, so I am reporting that too. Here are the batteries that I ordered on homedepot.com. For each battery, I ordered the package with the lowest cost per battery, usually, but not always, the largest size. Now, let's look at the test results. Each chart shows Rayovac in dark blue, HDX in orange, and AC Delco in lighter blue. Across the bottom are four tests, with the highest discharge 500 milliamp test on the left, and the lowest discharge 50 milliamp test on the right. On the left, we see total power extracted from each battery expressed in milliamp hours. This chart shows how much power each of four batteries released, on average, before the voltage fell below 1.2 volts. AC Delco won the 500 milliamp test with a total output of 138 milliamp hours. HDX won the 250 milliamp, 100 milliamp, and 50 milliamp tests. This next chart shows how many milliamp hours one dollar will buy if spent on each brand of battery. HDX takes the lead in the 500 milliamp test because HDX batteries are the cheapest at about 25 cents per battery compared to AC Delco at 27 cents per battery and Rayovac at 41 cents per battery. At the three lower discharge rates, HDX is the best value by a solid margin. This chart shows results that you can compare to some other public test results. Notice how allowing your battery to drop to 0.9 volts squeezes much more power out of each battery. You can't control the design of your TV remote, but the one that works down to a lower voltage is giving you more bang for your battery dollar. Again, AC Delco wins the 500 milliamp test, but HDX wins the other three. On low discharge applications, the HDX really shines. This chart shows a similar trend to the 1.2 volt cutoff. HDX is the best value for high discharge applications, but an even better value for low discharge uses. 
In the real world, do devices work at such a low voltage? In my experience, the answer is no, but 0.9 volts is what some other battery testers use. Here's where things get even more interesting. The original title of this video was going to be Cheap Batteries You Can Buy From Home Depot, but I got curious and sought out the data sheets for Duracell Copper Top and Energizer Max. To be clear, I did not test Duracell or Energizer, but since the data sheets are each company's public statement about how their batteries perform, why not see how they stack up? Here's the chart from Duracell's data sheet that I used to get data to compare to mine. In pulling the information from the chart, I gave Duracell the benefit of the doubt when there was uncertainty. And here is the chart from Energizer's datasheet that I used to get data to compare to. As you can see, they ran their discharge test down to 0.8 volts. Rather than try to adjust for that, I compared Energizer's 0.8 volt numbers to every other brand's 0.9 volt numbers, which can only help Energizer look better. Once you add Duracell and Energizer to the test, Here's how they compare on power. Duracell wins the 100 milliamp discharge test, but is last at 500 milliamps. Energizer didn't publish 500 milliamp or 250 milliamp test results, but finishes last at 100 milliamps and mid-pack at 50 milliamps. Certainly neither brand stands out in a way that says, wow, I see why they cost more. Moving on to the value chart with Duracell and Energizer thrown in, this blew me away. HDX is more than three times as good a value as either big brand. Energizers sometimes go on sale at Home Depot, and the sale price is not being used here. But even at a recent sale price of $14.87 for 36 batteries instead of $24.87, the Energizers are far from being the best value. These test results are not what I expected and have totally changed which batteries I will be buying at Home Depot in the future. Thank you for watching.